Okay, so now we look at the total ATP produced in active cells. So remember how ATP is produced is by substrate level phosphorylation and also by oxidative phosphorylation. So by substrate level phosphorylation, ATP is produced by the process of glycolysis and also Krebs cycle. So by glycolysis, ATP produce uh, two ATP. Why from Krebs cycle, ATP produced is two ATP. So the total ATP produced by substrate level phosphorylation is four. ATP. Okay, so now we look at ATP production by oxidative phosphorylation. So remember, oxidative phosphorylation, it will need NADH and also FADH2 that produced by the process of glycolysis, a link reaction or pyruvate oxidation and also Krebs cycle. So kita tengok dulu dari segi NADH production. So from glycolysis, it will produce 2 NADH. Link reaction, it will produce also 2 NADH. Krebs cycle, it will produce 6 NADH. So, means that total NADH produced that will enter the electron transport chain for oxidative phosphorylation is 10 NADH. Okay, but for FADH2, it will only produce by process of Krebs cycle. So, from Krebs cycle, it will produce 2 FADH2. So, the total FADH2 that will enter the electron transport chain is 2 FADH2. So, you remember, if 1 NADH okay, undergo oxidative phosphorylation, so it will produce 3 ATP. Why if 1 FADH2 enter the oxidative phosphorylation or electron transport chain, it will produce 2 ATP. So if there is 10 NADH enter electron transport chain for oxidative phosphorylation and if there are 2 FADH2 enter the electron transport chain for oxidative phosphorylation, so means that 10 NADH U times with 3 ATP. So the total ATP produced by NADH is 30 ATP. And then this 2 FADH2 U times with 2 ATP, so it will produce 4 A. ATP. So, means that the total ATP produced by oxidative phosphorylation is 34 ATP. Okay, but to find out the total ATP produced by active cells, so you need to uh, edit okay, the ATP production by substrate level phosphorylation and also by oxidative phosphorylation. So, means that substrate level phosphorylation, it will form for ATP and by oxidative phosphorylation it will form 34 ATP so the total ATP produced by active cell so the example of active cell is heart and also kidney cell so total ATP produced is 38 ATP